Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today I've got a guide for an absolute howler, the Ring of Hercene. An ironically silver ring that fits perfectly onto the finger of all you wolf people out there. As always, timestamps can be found in the description to help you get around, rather like public transport. So, what we'll want to do is come to the city of Falkreath. This can be found in the southern regions of Skyrim. Once here, we'll want to head to the Falkreath Barracks, next to the Yarl's Longhouse and to the Alchemist. Upon entering, walk straight ahead, down the stairs and into Falkreath Jail. In here, we will find Sinding. Speak to him. Come to gawk at the monster. A little girl is dead because of me. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them, a werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Oh my, you would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Upon agreeing to kill the beast, we will begin the quest Ill Met by Moonlight. This quest will also auto-equip the Cursed Ring of Hercene, which cannot be unequipped. So I'd suggest as soon as you get the quest to finish it, as the Cursed Ring will transform you into a werewolf at random times, which is not something you want happening randomly. So follow the quest marker and a short way up the hill in the rich forests of the Falkreath Hold. We can find a small pond with the white elk. Again, just follow the quest marker as the elk can run around a bit, so it doesn't really have a fixed location. Slay the beast and take its hide. This will prompt an interaction with an aspect of her scene. Well met, Hunter. I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Your fealty is precious to me. I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Now we'll need to head to Bloated Man's Grotto. This can be found on the southern edge of Whiterun's Mountains. Inside looks nice and friendly. Soon we'll run back into Sinding. Never thought I'd see you again. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Hersing is too powerful. But if you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. 
I know now that I can't live among people. Thank the gods. Now let's deal with these other hunters. We hunt together. Now to get the Ring of Hercene, we need to help Sinding kill the hunters. This isn't too hard, especially with the help of Sinding and his giant wolf arms. Thank you for your help. I will make my home here, away from anyone I might hurt. Thought I'd see you again. Now that they have been defeated, we need to exit the cave, and as soon as we do... Well met again, hunter. Not a failure, my servant. By bringing down my other hunters, you turn the chase inside out. And they were no base prey. You continue to amuse and impress. Go forth with my blessing. And now in our inventory we can see the Cursed Ring is gone and we have the Ring of Hercene. So, the Ring of Hercene. Its slot is of course the finger, its weight is 0.25, it has a value of 400, and its enchantment provides unlimited transformations for werewolves. First of all, unfortunately yes, this ring is only useful to players that are werewolves. But with that said, for the werewolves it is damned useful. Traditionally, a player character cursed slash blessed with lycanthropy can only undergo one werewolf transformation per in-game day. And with that limitation, being a werewolf is still a viable and powerful player option. So, when that limitation is removed completely, well, you'll be happier than a dog with two tails. If you have already become a werewolf and then been cured of lycanthropy through the companion's questline, the ring may still be used even after being cured. Like mathematical addition, that is definitely a plus. Followers and companion circle members will not benefit from the ring of her scene, so there is no point giving it to them. Now it should be noted that, theoretically, both the ring and the hide can be obtained. I tried it and couldn't get it to work, but I have been assured by multiple multiple sources that this does work. So again, theoretically, what you have to do is help Sinding kill the hunters, leave the grotto to receive the ring from her scene, and then go back inside the cave, kill Sinding, and skin him which will then prompt her scene to rock up again and give the player the savior's hide as well. Again, I couldn't get it to work, but many people have told me it does work, or it's at least possible. And lastly, the aesthetics. Rather like a tomato, it's simple yet pleasing. Again, ironically, it appears to be made of silver which is not something a werewolf wants on their skin. They're quite sensitive, you know. In the middle, on the face of the ring, is literally a face. A little wolf face. A cute little squidgy witchy wolf head. But this ring is just like filming an actress. It's her scene. <laughs> Then we have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been the guide for the Ring of Hercene. A useless piece of collectible tat to the average human, but a godsend and a powerful ring for those lycanthropes of you out there. To help you get into even more hairy situations. If you enjoyed this video, in the description you can find individual links to more Skyrim Special Edition guides that I have done. You'll also find links to social media and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you were keen in supporting the channel, as these videos take tons of effort and time to make. Be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Feel free to check out the links on screen. Thank you for watching, thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.